Hello. What I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to discuss how to create a quest that will start when the player enters a specific location. And now I have done something similar to this before, but I used uh, scripting methods to do it, whereas this time I'm going to be using a story manager to do it. And the story manager is basically it's a little bit more versatile, so what it will essentially allow us to do is it will allow us to create um, a stack of randomized quests and every time you enter a specific location it can pick one of those quests out of a stack and start it. So you tend to find stuff like that or maybe when you enter Diamond City the first time around a particular quest won't be running but when you enter the second time all of a sudden this new quest will be running and you can also condition your individual quests within that stack so that they start after certain conditions are met. So it's a little bit more um, complicated than just using the location change event within a script because this is going to be able to we can just basically plug in a whole bunch of quests to this so it's a little bit more versatile so first of all we're going to have to have a quest in mind that we want to start so that's what I'm going to do first so I'm going to right click new and I'm going to give this a unique ID so I'm going to call it tutorial underscore location quest I'm just going to give it a priority of 45 um, I'm going to uncheck start game enabled but after we tack it to an event I think that one checks anyway but just to make sure because there's another difference basically when we do it via a script a quest is always running from the start and that can like affect the dialogue and stuff like that so if we don't have it running from the start we won't have to worry about conditioning dialogue um, to only run at the opening stage for example so once we've done that we're gonna have to make it do something so I'm gonna just go straight in go to the quest stages right click new just call it five for number that isn't particularly important but I usually increment in steps of five right click new we've created something here so I'm gonna check run on start and the reason I'm doing that is because I for the purposes of this tutorial I want this stage to execute as soon as the quest starts up when it's started up by the story manager if the quest if you don't check this it won't really it will start the stage at zero and the quest will be running which will mean the dialogue is available but nothing will actually happen so I'm just going to, for tutorial purposes, demonstrate a very simple objective, which is just going to be used to demonstrate the quest is working. So I'm just going to write in here, set objective displayed 5. And again, for purposes of this tutorial, I'm assuming maybe you have something in mind for this, so I'm not really focusing too much on the actual content of the quest. I'm just focusing on how you start the quest, how you use the story manager to start it. So every time I make a change, I always OK out and save because the creation kit does have a tendency to crash. So go quest objectives, right click new, give this the index of five. And this is going to be the objective five that we called in that line before. I'm just going to say tutorial objective. Then I'm going to click back out to data, save as I always do. And we're going to want to make sure that this quest will actually show up. So you're going to need to give it a type. You can give it any of these really, this just affects stat tracking and what sat, what music cue plays at the end. So I'm going to do side quests and I'm just going to give it a name so this is how it will display in your pit boy Tutorial quest, that'll do. Okay, so I've made an incredibly simple quest that basically just is going to pop as soon as I change to a specific location just for tutorial purposes. So we're going to now jump into the story manager and this is the real, where the real sort of content of this tutorial is going to be. So we're going to want to use this change location event within the story manager and we've got all these nodes and so we're going to be using um, these nodes. So first of all I'm going to want to right click and add a new branch node and that is going to create one of these little grey nodes attached on here. And we're going to want to give it some kind of ID so I'm going to call it tutorial underscore um, branch node. That'll do. If we click off it its name should appear. Then second of all, I'm going to want to attach one of these white nodes, which is going to be a quest node, new quest node. And that's now bought up this little plus sign. And give it an ID, tutorial underscore quest node. Now this shares event, uh, make sure that it is ticked by default, but make sure it is ticked. Uh, anyway, don't untick that because otherwise you could potentially block other things within the vanilla game from five you have to make sure these share the event otherwise once your thing takes the event it'll stop anything else from registering and that can obviously mess up other people's mods or vanilla stuff 
So within this stats quest node, this is where we're going to house all our quests. So what we could do is we could add within our main node five or six different nodes. And in that node, we could add five or six different quests, all conditioned differently. But I'm just going to add a quest for now, and it's going to be our tutorial quest. So it was just called tutorial location quest, wasn't it? That's what we made in here. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to decide how we want to condition it. And there really is a lot of versatility in what you can do here. So I'm going to add um, my condition to this branch node. So I'm going to right click new. And here we're going to do get event data because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pulling the data that is sent from the location change event. So I'm going to get event data. Click on here. And I'm going to have a new location as my event data that I'm going to choose. And I'm going to choose the Abernathy Farm location for no particular reason other than that's why I use in the tutorial. So what this will essentially mean now is when the player changes location, these events will all start firing off. And if the new location the player has changed into is Abernathy Farm, this will then jump down to this quest node. And I could condition this quest node if I wanted. So maybe um, I want this quest node to only run if a player has, you know, a cap, exactly one cap in their inventory. And I could add another quest node and have a bunch of quests for only run if a player has two caps in their inventory. You know, I could, I could do stuff like that uh, if I wanted to, but it would be, um, it'd be a little bit weird, but. And then what it will do from there is it will pick any random quest from underneath this node and start it. Now, because I've only got one quest, it will start that immediately. But if I had maybe three or four quests, it would just pull a random quest. So this can be particularly useful. Let's say if you want to have a player enter a town and one quest start at a time, that could be particularly useful in this scenario. So I've just done the most basic thing. I've used the event data. So when the player enters the Abernathy farm location, it's going to pull this quest node and this quest node, because it's only got one quest, it's going to pull this one. So really we just need to hit OK and save. And that is about all there is to it in terms of setup. But like I say, it can be hugely versatile. You can add as many different quest nodes to this as you want, each with different conditions. So maybe it, you want it to be mutually exclusive. So let's say at some point in your narrative, the player has made a choice. You might want quest A, stack A to play. If they've made choice A, you might want stat B to play if they've made choice B. Hopefully that is clear, but I'm going to go into the game and demonstrate how that would work in practice with the player changing location. Okay, so I'm here in the world and I've put myself a little way outside Abernathy Farm, just so that we don't... Oh, ignore that. Just so that we uh, can see the quest starting up. Hopefully none of this uh, modded stuff is going to get in the way. I'm not sure how far from here the edge of the Abernathy Farm location actually is. But hopefully we should be getting there soon. There we go. Tutorial quest, tutorial objective. As soon as we pass the peripheries of the Abernathy Farm uh, environment. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, it can be quite a versatile tool, the story manager. I'll probably do a few more tutorials on it uh, in the future. So hopefully that was clear and hopefully that was useful. So thank you for watching and goodbye.